you to take me back So tell me, is you gon' ride out when the chips fall? I seen too many people leave when it get hot I'm tired of going back and forth when we pissed off Most of my friends don't went through it and they stood tall See, they gon' try and tell you what they think is good for you Whole time they was plotting, man, I wish they was for you You gotta watch your back, your front, your side, they disloyal you I gotta watch my crown, cause from birth I've been Alright, what's up YouTube? It's your girl, Nani the Goddess Back again with another video This is for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Um, they are all ran together as an element reading I will be back with the individual, um, zodiac sign readings Okay Anything you need to know about me is down below in the description box. Shout out to everyone who um, like my videos, share, comment, subscribe, all those wonderful things. I do truly appreciate you all. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, I ask that you wrap your arms around me and my collective. Protect us. Okay. Protect me as I open myself up as a child and tap into the energy surrounding my collective. As I provide the, uh, them excuse me, with the most important messages directly from you all. Um, we want to go ahead and send back energy. Anyone who is sending us high vibrational energy, loving energy, positive energy, nurturing, compassionate, you know, prosperous energy, anything high vibrational spirit, we send it back to them tenfold. They deserve to receive that energy as well. Anyone who's sending us negative energy, low vibrational energy, trying to attack our finances, um, our connections, our relationships, sending us any unwanted spell word, just even doing it on us, right? The weapon of form, but it won't prosper. But, you know, Spirit, just anybody who is just sending us any low vibrational energy, Spirit, it, we send it back tenfold. It's not our energy. It doesn't belong to us. We don't want it. We ask that you all block that energy from us um, and continue to protect us from that energy. It's already done so much. Uh, so mode it be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and get started. Off real fire signs, I feel like you all may have a hard time communicating with somebody or articulating yourself. Or someone may be finding themselves hard to articulate themselves to you all. Maybe they feel like they won't be heard. Maybe they can't find the words to say or express what it is um, that they need to say. Okay, so let's jump in. You know what I'm seeing off rip. So let's see. What's the energy for my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Thank you, daughter Romance. First card out. Number 33. Y'all could be ascended master, earth angel. It's a lot of synchronicities off top. Woman holding a heart. Somebody could be torn between two people. We have victory here. Somebody could be torn between something that happened in the past that caused them to close their heart off to love. And the fact they've met somebody young. Somebody who is a part of their temple path. So this is definitely a twin flame. And it has this woman in her head. So my divine feminine, as you all could be in y'all head about this connection, about this, yeah, cannot make it up. About this new person, this old person. Again, some of y'all, it could be an entanglement. Um, torn between the two is what I'm hearing playing in my head. Solar plexus is here. Chakra, that's our third chakra. Archangel Shamuel, the number 37, 12, and 14. Okay. Um... Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, there we go, from when I say it, yeah, somebody could be um, doing shadow work, so something could have been triggered within you, if this is your twin flame, they definitely will, but it's so that you can reach this point of luminosity, or it's because of the fact that you are in this energy of luminosity, yeah, self-respect and things like that, you have that light from within, your heart space, this is how you attracted this person. Yeah, some of y'all definitely want intimacy. Maybe it's with someone else. Tell me more for my fire signs. Everything is serious. Thank you. Yeah, sexual freedom. See, it's a difference in sexuality, like someone who is promiscuous versus that sexual freedom that you have with your one and only person who's a part of your path. Okay, your twin flame. Yeah, sex, respect. So I feel like some of you all are just like straight up like, look, if it's not my person, I'm not even... Like, I'm celibate until I meet Mr. and Mrs. Wright. You know what I'm saying? Or it may be the sex with that past person that has you stuck to that person. Tell me more. The garden and commitment. Yeah. Because I'm getting that y'all are single, beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Handling, handling your business. And again, this is sun, moon, rise, and Venus, the North Node. 
um, placements. Flip the roles as need be. Okay, I could be soccer romance right now for some of y'all. Could be family, it could be work related. Just put it where it goes. Um, all of my reads are timeless, past, present, future. Some of y'all are already out of this energy. Some of y'all are coming into this energy. Some of y'all are in the midst of this energy. Um, eat the meat, spit out the bones. If it's not your story, leave it for someone else, right? All right, so yeah. I feel like y'all are not settling. Y'all on this quest for real love, and y'all are not settling. Y'all want a real commitment. Somebody who see the work you put in, I cannot make it up. This is a divine connection. This is a divine connection. Y'all could be communicating with this person um, telepathically in the 5D or through music. Somebody knows their worth and someone else may not. It may be the issue here, the barrier. This one to come out and this flipped over. Yep. Somebody want to come back and resolve issues with you fix things and it's that luminosity that love somebody's person is going through that dark night of the soul you see how he's sitting in the darkness okay this person could feel lost alone maybe even ashamed i just heard the candle that's lit says love okay and the rocks says empathy understanding and compassion that's what's going to be needed um because for some of y'all your person just needs a friend right now so it's at your discretion but this is someone, one of these people I feel for y'all is the person you're meant to walk your path with, okay? Now, with spiritual maturity, yeah, an inner peace, that could be where y'all are at, what this person is wanting. This could be what you're doing to your person. Like I said, yeah, some of y'all, your person is going to come back in. They did the work with life purpose. I cannot make it up. They know that y'all belong together. Serendipity is right up under there. Emotional freedom. Divine Masculine, Twin Flame, Chivalry. This is somebody who did the work uh -oh. and was guided back in by spirit to come back in. Okay, like, yes, this person is a part of your path. This is who you're meant to be with. I feel like this person has been watching you put that work in and now they're ready to come in. All uh, this is you attracting your person in in the first place. So let's dig deeper. Yeah, calling in your soulmate. Made the effort. Wedding. Some of y'all could be married. So that may be what has you kind of like, yeah, separation. Some of y'all could be separated. I'm wondering if you should move forward with the divorce. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. I cannot make it up. Yeah, that's why the sex is so out of this world like that. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Somebody is definitely on the fence between two people. Y'all called this person in. And I feel like your soulmate called you in. Because all of this is in the same energy. It's your twin. Okay? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Y'all are calling each other in. And it's safe to love each other because y'all are each other's person. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Give this relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Y'all, this is a divine connection. Y'all both have your wings. Okay, y'all have spent many, many lifetimes together. Y'all have known each other longer than you've known your parents. Well, your parents know you. You know, put it how you want to. But y'all have spent many, many lifetimes together in many, many dimensions. Okay, in the 5D, y'all are married. Spirit babies and all. This is different for me. It's different for both of y'all. Okay, only, you know, you only have one person who you share a soul with, who you share a chakra system with. I've been getting tongue tied with that word lately. Share a chakra system. <laughs> But this person is trying to impress you. You may be trying to impress them. This is my Confessions of the Heart deck. Again, you can find it below on my Etsy shop. Um, I've never been happier. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is your person. This is your person. Okay. So that's the importance of healing and things like that. You don't want to not know your person when they come in. Okay, you don't want to miss out on the opportunity of a lifetime with your one true love. What's going on this past life? Bless your spirit. Tell me the of my Thank you. Divine timing is at work here. Yep, you heard it, baby. Divine timing is at work. You and my always and forever. Somebody know. It could be both of y'all. Both of y'all could know that you all are twin flames or soulmates. You can't make out. You and my always and forever. Somebody needs to decide because they know the other person is who they want. 
I'm scared to approach you. Some of y'all, this person could be nervous to approach you. Um, depending upon the situation, this could be y'all first time meeting in the 3D. Y'all could have dealt before and this person walked away with their resolving issues, um, resolving conflict, excuse me. This person may have went against what y'all had going on. It says, I'm scared to approach you. You came back out. Okay. Even though y'all are calling each other in on truck, because this person was trying to impress other people, like I just said. But they're changing how they view love. So some of them had, it took them going out in the world and seeing no one is rocking with them the way you're rocking with them, loving them the way that you love them. Um, you know, showing up in their life the way you were showing up for them. So that's why they want to come in. That's why they feel so lost and in the dark and everything. A lot of them was resisting their path, resisting change. Okay? I love when it's just the two of us. This is someone who wants to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you all. Just dating, nothing serious. And later, gentlemen in the streets, porn star in the sheets. This is someone who didn't want to commit. This is someone who is very promiscuous and who didn't want to commit. I'm your biggest fan. Meanwhile, I feel like this person watches you. I feel like this person um, genuinely um, not only love you, but like they know what's up. But I feel like they've just been running from it. They didn't see themselves being married or they didn't see themselves settling down. But you are that true love. Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be pregnant by this person, but they want to come in and work together with you. Yeah, this is somebody who broke y'all heart in the past. They could have gotten somebody else pregnant. Or just the fact they, they went and worked with someone else instead of you all. Could be an earth sign. Could be a water sign. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Scorpio energy here with this death card. So somebody could have ended something to come towards you all. Or this ending... Um, that lighted a new passionate beginning. Yeah. Some of y'all have new love coming in. Some of y'all have new love is your career, your business. Could be a cancer involved. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the eight, um, eight of Pentacles and Chariot card. Yeah, somebody definitely um, was trying to put in work elsewhere. And this is somebody who didn't even want them. It wasn't what it was all cracked up to be. So now they're ready to go. This is also the fact this is somebody who, like I said, bed hop. For some of them, they, it's, it's a money thing. For some of them, it's about stability. They go wherever they can have a place to stay at. Yeah. I just heard from pillar to post. This is somebody who may sleep with women or sleep with men for a place to stay or to get money out of them. Who knows they're on this twin flame journey. Yeah, judgment and seven of pentacles. I cannot make it up. Judgment been called on. Some of them could definitely be dealing with a court case. Be married to this person. Receiving their karma because of it. I feel like part of that is they was putting in a lot of work. And not receiving a lot in return. They're seeing you all putting in work. And re you know your harvest is starting to come in. Knight of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you may have even been doing all of the work in this connection. Spirit said that's the damn truth. This is somebody who was definitely dealing with somebody. Everything I said. Dealing with somebody else. Y'all could even know about it. Could have even caught them. Six of Pentacles. Definitely somebody could have some dark magic going on. That could be what's going on. Why this person is back and forth like this between you and someone else. Could be somebody they have kids with or married to. Yeah. This is some this is somebody who's spreading their love to more than one person. And it could be a secret for some of y'all. This could be this person's secret. Yeah. This is why this person is blocking you off or haven't made a decision or refused to make a decision. Ace of Wands. I cannot make it up. Ten of Pentacles. They, some of them have a family. Some of them are screwing people for the money. Off of stability. Some of them definitely have way too much going on. Or they brought way too much drama and strife into your life. They will be in and out. Eight of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. They would be in and out. They come and get what they want. They take. They could be. They could have stolen from you or stealing from you. But I feel like they come in and and they, whether it's they them wanting financial help or otherwise, but they come in and get what they want. And they deal. Look, I can't. They have sex. They use sex as a means, and they're flighty. They're not dependable. They're very unreliable. They use sex as a means to get what they want. Will of fortune. And I feel like this person could be getting their karma. Or it could have been a tie between y'all. Okay. 
Because this person is showing up as the King of Wands. That's somebody who is very, very, very promiscuous, honey. Yeah, somebody could have got caught. So they could have received their karma with somebody they was dealing with. Yep. For, for doing you wrong. They surely did. Five of Wands, King of Pentacles, somebody. Five of Swords, somebody betrayed them. Six of Swords, now they're ready to come in. So for a lot of y'all, that's why this person is coming in. They're ready to go to smooth the karma waters. Excuse me, they know that you weren't with all that. You know? They just thought, look, I know you are divine feminine. I'm trying to make you jealous. I have commitment issues. I cannot make it up. You heard it, didn't you? Confirmation. I'm trying to get you pregnant. I'm trying to get pregnant by you. This could be, they could be trying to get y'all pregnant now. This could be a, um, the way this emperor likes to control um, the females he deal with. Or this could be a karmic trying to get pregnant by your person. Or, a car, you know, someone trying to get pregnant by you. You could be the masculine. This is somebody who's really deeply in love with you. They don't think they're good enough for you, though. But, I mean, out, you're out here doing all of this. The karmic is stalking you. Now you got a karmic stalking you. Now it could be your ex. Um, but I feel like they're dealing with somebody who has commitment issues, too. It says baby mama, baby daddy drunk. I'm trying to tell you, this is what's going on. This is why you haven't heard from this person or why the communication isn't what it needs to be. This person got a lot going on. Meanwhile, they know you the wife or you the husband. They view you as wife or husband material. I don't like to be challenged. I prefer to stay in my comfort zone. I refuse to change. What did I say? This is somebody who want to stay the same. They don't want to really commit to anyone. They want to have their cake and eat it too. They used to get in their way or they prefer to get in their way. Okay, they're childish. This is somebody who's very immature and who needs to grow up. They're showing up as knights. The only king that came out was that king of swords. So maybe this is somebody who was straight up with it. So you could know that this person has somebody else. Okay, both of y'all could know about each other, meaning you and the baby mama or the wife or whoever. I'm breaking all of my old patterns. I'm making changes to my life. This could be something that this person is trying to come in and tell you all. You know, I view you as my wife or my husband. I've changed. You know, this could be what their karmic told them to pull them away from you all. It came back out. But they really playing games. This could highlight the fact y'all view them as husband or wife, you know, and then they show their true colors. That they was really playing games with you all. I feel safer in the shadows. Okay? Yeah, they caused y'all a lot of pain. A lot of pain. So, yeah, like I said, somebody go call or text. Receiving an unexpected call or message from somebody who's very controlling. I'm a chaser. I love to chase. I'm tired of chasing. So, you know, this could be somebody who's like, okay, you don't have enough time to heal or call yourself being mad. This is somebody very controlling, narcissist. Straight up karma. They're trying to force you to deal with them. No one compares to you. I'll put you above all the rest, baby. You're the best. I don't think you're good enough for me. See, now you don't think this person is good enough for you. See, first they try to play you like the karmic was better or like you wasn't enough to even have to deal with other people, other women or other men. Now you know they're not good enough for you because of their choices. And now they see you for who you are. Oh, I, you hear it, don't you? Getting in alignment with your assignment. That's what y'all doing. Y'all don't have time for this. And see, for like I said, for a lot of y'all, this person is your, your person. You're a twin. They're hunted by their choices. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, they got over there and that grass was not green on the other side. That karmic putting them through it. Refusing to let go of divine master, divine feminine. You and or your person could have an ex refusing to let y'all go or a current. I'm going to call the police. This is a karmic from hell. They are going through it. Like I said, I'm plotting on you, divine master, divine feminine. This karmic could be plotting on both of y'all. I'm lying to you about everything. This karmic could try to reach out and tell you some lies or your person is telling you lies. Wasting your time on purpose. Okay. This is a mess. I'm going to jail. Yeah. This karmic is so low. This karmic could even be willing to lock your person up. Your person could be on like probation or something. Or house arrest or something. Um, And this person could be even willing to lock your person up. Just to keep this person from leaving. Or this person could even lock. Make up something. They do. What did I say? Doing dark magic on divine master and divine feminine. I'm unfazed. I'm unbothered. I don't care. It's a competition for this karmic. Okay? It's not about the person. They don't care who they hurt. They don't care. 
I know that you are keeping me a secret. So some of y'all, this person was keeping y'all a secret. Some of y'all, this karmic was being kept a secret. Or your person was being kept a secret. I'm codependent on my karmic for everything. What did I say? This is somebody who is using women for stability, for money. And it came back out. Very much so. I'm ready to let go of divine masculine, divine feminine. Y'all ready to walk away and this karmic ready to walk away too. This karmic don't even want this person. They only did it just to keep y'all away from each other. Now that y'all done split up, they good. They don't even want the person. And now your person seeing it. It was all a game. It was all a setup. They've been doing dark magic on them all along. And like I said, for some of them, they have multiple women. More than just this other chick. So they have multiple energies doing dark magic on them. And by having sex with these women. Um, and from what I was seeing, a lot of them aren't using protection. Hey. Huh. Another reason why y'all need to leave them alone, okay? Um, it's just too many STDs floating around, and these comments are giving it to the masculines and feminists on purpose to try and trap them to be with them. That's part of the dark magic. And also to purposely give it to the divine masculine, divine feminine, who is their person. I'm trying to steal your spotlight. What did I say? It's a competition. It's not about the person. So a lot of them, they haven't walked away because they dependent. They're dependent. They want y'all to think they do for that person, but it's really the other way around. I'm keeping you a secret from everyone. Say what? This is my karma. Say what karmic one day. Again, you can find it below. I tell it's here twice. Y'all know this person was keeping y'all a secret, or this karmic knows they was a secret. What did I say? They thought the karmic was better than you. Period. I am wearing a false mask. Beware, it's a snake in your grass. This person is being fake. Be careful. This person ain't coming back in like they need to. Yeah, they come back in because they got a whole lot on their shoulders and they want to hide out. Some of y'all is because they want your money. They want they may want you to pay for something. Yep, I see the ace of pentacles. They depressed. Yep. Meanwhile, they're still mentally blocked off. But emotionally, uh, emotionally unavailable. Cannot make it up. They watching y'all do y'all things. Some of y'all have an online business. They watching y'all glow up online. Yeah. They know y'all this love and caring person, nurturing person, very intuitive. But it's showing up as a knight. It's still flighty. Slow moving, but flighty. Look. They only want to work together for the pentacles. They working together still with somebody else. Cannot make it up. They working together still with somebody else. That person could have even betrayed them. Could be the reason why they want to come in and work together with you. Okay, they could be it could be the fact they're trying to come in and get you all pregnant to keep y'all from moving forward or get pregnant by you. Okay, to attach themselves to you all. Cannot make it up. Could be an Aries. Yes, it's y'all, but well, this is the Aries energy. Could be an Aries, yeah. That leap of faith. Some of y'all took a leap of faith and started an online business or something. Um, y'all took a leap of faith and did something. But this is this is somebody I'm telling you, this person wanna take this leap of faith towards y'all because they out in the cold. They could they could be homeless. I know one damn thing they ain't they broke. They broke and they see y'all in their eight of pentacles energy. And they wanna be a part of it. I cannot make it up. They wanna be a part of it. Page of wines, four ones. They want to be a part of it. They gonna come in like, oh, this and that, this exciting new opportunity. I'm ready to come home. Spirit said Queen of Swords, they ask. Come on in. Trying to tell you, you need to cut it. Period. Because this person is still trifling and they're really running from another situation. They didn't do the work. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, they running from drama. Some of them started it. Running from drama, they created. Back and forth, giving the bone, taking the bone. The way this is set up is two down, two over there, three over there. So this person could have kids. This could be three different baby mamas. You could be one of their baby mamas. Like, this could be three different women that they're seeing here manipulating. That could be why all this drama is going on. Fighting, bickering, betrayal, competition. Somebody misses somebody. Somebody in their feelings about it or something. Five of cups. Yeah, three of cups, everything fine. But they said it's showing up for the rest of the world like everything great. Like everything great, like they happy. Steady partying. All right, they weren't look, but in secret, they really not. In secret, they missing this true love. In secret, they reflecting and all in their head, hangman, about this two of cups. Yeah. Now, with their stability, 
And this judgment card, Spirit said it's the truth. Because now we got the four pinnacles. This person is stingy. This person is like, I feel like at this point I'm willing to do anything to get the money. Because they definitely could be facing a court case. Child support. They, like I said, could be on some type of paperwork. Um, whatever it is. Could just be a ticket. This person is trying to keep from receiving some type of judgment from a judge, I feel like. Um, Cause spirit says the truth. Or trying to keep the truth from coming out. Whatever it is. This could even be somebody needing to pay a lawyer or something. But whatever it is, I feel like this is their karma with this judgment card. And I feel like it's revealed to y'all what they really want. They really after y'all stability. Cause spirit said everything I said was the truth. Yeah. Could be a Scorpio. It could have any things with a Scorpio. You could be the Scorpio because you could be a cross watcher. Cross watchers are welcome. But this is somebody from your past who you either any things from um, with or they any things with you. Um, goes to you. You can have kids by this person, like I said. Um, but they're trying to move towards you. Karma waters. Stability. They're trying to move towards you all. Look, the Empress was well, equal give and take. Be a Libra, a Taurus, or a Sagittarius. Where they, who they really love. See, you want the love at. You want the stability and the love at, huh? Could be a Pisces involved. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay? But this is what's see, uh, in, in secret. This person got a lot going on with who they walked off to you for. They got a lot going on that's keeping them from coming into this Ten of Cups with you. And offering you this cup of love. But see, you guard it anyway. Wounded warrior. You done been through a lot. They guard it too. They guard it too. You know what I'm saying? But you guard it. Because they said they had you waiting so long. You have blocked your energy from them. Blocking yourself from the foolishness. From that could be you blocking out text messages and calls. And, you know, ignoring them or what have you. Because he had, I cannot make it up. Because whoever, I'm saying he. Because that's what I'm getting. Masculine energy. This person juggled y'all. Could be an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person juggled y'all for too long. Too long. Or caused an imbalance in y'all life or your finances for too long. Period. And y'all are over it. Y'all are over it. Y'all want y'all justice. Some of y'all this is getting a divorce from this person. Some of y'all this is getting married to somebody else. Some of y'all it's just the fact that things are being balanced out. Justice is being served and this person is getting their karma. Because your person... Walked away. Left you. Ghosted you and walked away emotionally from you. Now y'all doing the same thing. Look. They're very impulsive. Y'all, They showing up as knights. He's showing up. Whoever's showing up as a knight. Could be a female. Feminine energy. Y'all turning y'all back to it. They trying to convince y'all that, that y'all turned y'all. That they turned their back to it. But no. Y'all turned y'all back to this player. To this promiscuous energy. They was too flighty. Undependable. They was messing with other people. Okay, you was losing money, losing sleep, losing out on something. They was holding you all back. So y'all are standing y'all ground and y'all are waiting for your ships to come in. Some of y'all could already be dating. But I feel like y'all are focused on the future. Look, and they watching y'all. Y'all can even see them going through all this, but they watching y'all. They watching y'all. They burdened by money, though. This is somebody who has a lot on their mind when it comes to money. They see these exciting things going on in your life, but they're gonna come in what they want if you get my drift. This is somebody gonna come in sexually because they're in their lower self. So they'll come in sexually saying it's a love offer because they I cannot make it up. Because in secret, they watch you. They watch you right along with the, the karma. They see y'all independent, beautiful, you know what I'm saying, successful, abundant. Look. And 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 they sat there and took their cup to a tower. It's been drama, it's been BS with whoever they was living with. Harsh communication, they arguing and fighting over money. Cannot make it up. It could be a wife or a baby mama. Cannot make it up and they're ready to go. Now they're ready to end that cycle. But they didn't, you know, they 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 know they're supposed to be this boss person, this courageous and confident person. This is somebody trying to get their courage up. But this is somebody who is willing to have sex, king of wands. This is somebody very promiscuous for money. It's somebody who's willing to have sex for money. Okay? They see spirit blessing y'all. Um, know y'all to give. See y'all in this good luck and stuff like that. Turning point, right? Y'all at the top of the wheel. But they willing to come in and pretend to be someone they're not to get this from you. 
Spirit said don't do it because they are karmic. Their karma is still attached to a karma. They are choosing to be in this low vibrational energy. This is the devil card. It could be a Capricorn. They are still dealing. Look, I cannot make it up with this baby mama. It could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're still dealing with this baby mama. And they're trying to take advantage of your kindness. The fact you're nurturing and loving. Well, everything that this other person isn't. They're forgetting about the fact you're highly intuitive, honey. So while they're thinking that they're going to come in... No, baby, you put that work in elsewhere and you it ain't coming up right, you're going to stay there. Four swords, they ain't here. Y'all brought this to rest. Y'all are making wiser investments. Y'all are focused on your own coins, your own, you know, just your life. Y'all getting your life together. Y'all are being smart about what you invest in going forward. And y'all are like, nope, it ain't my fault you invested somewhere that they, I cannot make it up. Because you betrayed me with this option. Creating these illusions confusion you ultimately betrayed me it could be an Aquarius okay involved but they see you as this queen of wands now they see y'all doing y'all thing and now they want to come in and heal you see yeah y'all healed y'all self and we still went after y'all wish fulfillment even by yourself knowing that y'all this person wish fulfillment but they manipulated y'all and broke y'all heart cannot make it up and now they're trying to manipulate y'all to to work with them again. They are literally losing sleep. They are literally losing sleep. All in their head. About you. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And again, Gemini energy. Lose it. Look, lose the sleep. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. This Emperor is in a mental prison. This, myth, this Emperor is feeling stuck. This is somebody who's very controlling. Who feel like he's not in control. Period. He's in a mental prison. And this, yeah, being this king of pentacles, being with whoever the other person is. And I feel like they want to come in. They could even tell this person they're ready to walk away. They want a divorce. Or this could be them communicating with you. I know this is a, um, a soul connection. And I know you're my victory. I know I've betrayed you in the past by working with other people and being controlling. It could be a Leo involved. But you are my happiness. Spirit said that's the damn truth. You are my happiness and my success lies with you. I can't receive it without you. True freaking power right here together. Spirit said that's the truth. This King of Swords belong with the Queen of Swords. Could be two air signs. Okay, so y'all can have it in y'all chart. If somebody walked away, maybe that's because they were supposed to be with somebody else. This could be you and your person. Put it where it goes. Okay. Put it where it goes, y'all. Okay, but this is a true pair. This is a true pair. That's what I do now. Just went through the whole deck. And I'm telling you, each deck gonna tell the story. It's gonna tell the story now. That's for sure. So let's keep going. My time already went off, so let me keep going. Somebody ready to come in. Some of them are serious, y'all, and done the work. Some of them are. Some of them are coming in because they are going through financial constraints and they see you having the willpower to manifest the life you deserve the life y'all are supposed to create together and they want to come in they, some of them are feeling left behind look psychic abilities some of them um y'all some of y'all have psychic abilities spiritual gifts and uh that could even be your third eye chakra um activated and you see this person for who they really are you see it for what it is. Y'all see that this new beginning is the direction y'all need to head in. Or this could be your person waking up. That spiritual awakening. Okay. To who you are. What they supposed to be doing. To get in alignment with their assignment. Yeah. They're ready to come out this box. And start on this path. It may look a little scary. A little different. But they see you that sun peeking out. They know they justice is with you. You could be a Libra. They could be a Libra. Again, cross are the welcome. They, it's the fact they can see um, marriage with you, the whole life, you know, that balance is with you, okay? This could be the fact your person has paid their karmic debt, and they're able now to have this new beginning. Spirit is giving them the green light to move forward to a peaceful, peaceful new beginning, yeah, to receive their justice, okay? So, you know, just use your gift of discernment and everything on why this person is coming back. They could have went ahead and it came back out. Finally got the divorce. They could be finally ready to get married. Okay. They had the willpower to push through. 
come out of the darkness. Okay? And, yeah, they want forgiveness. They want forgiveness. They change, freedom, patience, freedom. Took a lot of patience, self-esteem. This person didn't know their worth. Or did, so if they didn't know their worth, they didn't know your worth. Courage, yeah. This person, failure, yeah. This person definitely went through the dark night of the soul. Relationships, now they're ready for something not vibrational. They know what they don't want. Now they're ready for something real. I cannot make it up. They're ready for real love. I cannot make it up. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. This person is doing the work or done, but well, doing the work, I'm going to say. Because it's a continuous thing. Growth. They're ready to grow with you. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Acceptance. They're accepting who they are and who you are to them. Okay? I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. And worries in reverse. They're no longer worrying anymore they're coming out of their head okay round and round and round the confusion delusion i'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome right look and they're making those changes the gears are going now it's no more confusion now they can see the right path which way they need to go it says i understand that nothing can grow or um evolve without movement and that's the truth that's the truth and they understand they have to do their part so this is beautiful this is they're coming in to do their part y'all I feel like I'm missing a deck, so if I miss, skip the deck, which I'll read, please forgive me, okay? All right, what's going on for my five signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, true offering. Yes, doing that shadow work, healing their inner child, releasing um, that which no longer serves them so the spirit can replace it with bigger and better or guide them back to the path they're supposed to be on. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. Okay? What came out? Flow. Somebody wasn't going with the divine flow. Allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. Period, Pooh. Spirit said it's time to go with the flow when it comes to love, honey. You got to release the old. You got to release. You know, this, these promiscuous ways, operating your lower self, running from your path, running from growth, running from change, okay? Intuition, yeah, they had to make a head over heart decision, okay? Each person's road to the inner spirit is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. Somebody is learning to um, honor their inner voice, okay? To listen more to their intuition. Their higher self. They're going through a spiritual awakening. I cannot make it up. Oh spirit. Wake me from a life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. Period. Okay. This is somebody who's definitely going within. Um, spirit is definitely working with this person. This is definitely divine timing. And a power. Yes. They had to take their power back. Okay. Give me the courage and the power to do what must be done. Yeah, limitless. Because a lot of them still had those old belief systems they had to let go of. They were sitting there feeling like, oh, well, because we're married or because we have kids together, I have to be with you. And they're realizing, no, I don't. Like, spirit is not going to want me to be unhappy. Spirit is not going to want me to sit here and try to try, because it never works. If it worked, they wouldn't have to keep doing it. To try to drown my sorrows in, in, in um, alcohol and drugs and loose women. You know, um, meaningless sex, in other words, right? Um, connections that are only creating more soul ties, more karmic debt to pay, more work to do, right? It wasn't helping or benefiting your person. This is somebody who was giving their power away, who didn't understand their worth. So they definitely didn't think it was worthy of a connection like this, worthy of someone like you. Some of them, they even put you in a position to have to make a head over heart decision and walk away from them. And that's why they ended up having this power to come in. See yourself open to receiving the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything and anyone. They're realizing that karmic was here to just teach me lessons. I was supposed to be let go. I'm not supposed to sit here and try to stay somewhere. I ain't even pull a card for right here. I'll pull my mom. I wasn't supposed to stay here. You know, for a lot of them, your path cannot make it up. Back to true offering. Yup. Okay. Surrender. Intention without surrender. Is a fast path to delusion, right? You have to be willing to surrender 
to sacrifice to go after what you want. Spirit is not going to remove anyone and anything out of your life that doesn't have to go. That's serving your highest good. They're not going to remove what's good for you. They're going to remove what's bad for you. Who's bad for you? Dear Spirit, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. Okay? Somebody's embracing their path and they're recognizing they have to co-create with the universe. They have to trust their higher self, listen to their intuition, trust their spirit team to have them. Know that they're protected. Know that there's something better out there for them. And know that this isn't it. It's time to grow up. It's time for a fresh start, new beginning. Okay? It's time to set better examples for their children and what have you. So, you know, just use your gift of discernment um, and your gift of intuition when this person comes back. Because for some of you all, y'all need to make a head over heart decision and not take this person back. Because for a lot of you all, this person hasn't changed. Okay? Y'all know your person. Y'all know what's up. Ain't nobody changed in three, four hours, three, four days, three, four weeks. I'm going to keep it above. Especially somebody who has a sex addiction, who's out here messing with other people, who has all this dark magic on them. They need to be in that hermit mode and, and speak with spirit. Do that work. Heal themselves. Okay? Release themselves of these karmics. Um, cleanse their body. Detox themselves. Things of that nature before they come back in. Otherwise, it's going to be the same cycle over and over. And if they have a sex addiction, baby... The last thing y'all are going to be able to do for a while is have sex because it's going to trigger your person. You see what I'm saying? They have to be strong enough and willing. That inner power, they have to come in willing. Courageous enough to do it and not run. Because for a lot of you all, your person runs because of the work that's required. See, these, these um, women and these chicks, these karmic masculines and karmic feminists in the streets don't require them to grow up. Don't require them to better themselves or anything like that. They're not on them about stuff like that. They don't care because they are doing their own thing anyway. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, but you wanted the best for this person, right? You understand y'all are a reflection of each other. So, of course, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be with somebody and not push them to be the best version of themselves. Okay, you want to start a business? Let's get going. Let's start that business. You know, you want to whatever. Let's do it. It's high vibrational, it's positive, it's beneficial, it's productive. Why wouldn't you want to? Why wouldn't you support that? It's all good, though. Y'all got this, okay? For a lot of y'all, that's the fact y'all have grown past your person. and Y'all are going to receive that new love coming in. And for a lot of y'all, that new love is this new business, this new creative endeavor, okay? So put it where it goes, but I love y'all. Y'all got this, okay? Make sure that y'all are allowing your intuition to guide you. Namaste, sending y'all love, light, positivity, high vibrations of any sort, right? Hugs, comfort, healing, all of that good, wonderful, high vibrational things. Y'all stay safe out there until we meet next time. I'll catch y'all later. Bye for now. I want you to take me back, so tell me, is you gonna ride out when the chips fall? I seen too many people leave when it get hot. I'm tired of going back and forth when we pissed off. Most of my friends don't went through it and they stood tall. See, they gon' try and tell you what they think is good for you. Whole time they was plotting, man, I wish they was for you. You gotta watch your back, your front, your side, they disloyal. I gotta watch my crown, cause from birth I've been.